Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to those of you on Patreon. If you're watching on Patreon, lucky you, a week early. No ads, fantastic. Again, if you're a YouTube member, a week early, maybe some ads. I'm not quite sure how YouTube worked that, but well done you and thank you very much for the support. As for the rest of you, see you in a week. Welcome back to the UK Inspired Rail Network and welcome back to, where are we? Bedford. We're going to be doing Bedford. And I know, I know I said I'd do some detailing last week. Time didn't quite work out the way it should have. I didn't have time. I ended up getting deep into my toolbox build and doing a lot of work on there and got a little bit carried away. The minutes became the hours and the hours became the days. And I'm not going to lie, I'm quite enjoying doing that build. Maybe it's because it's just completely off the cuff and I'm just building, doing a little bit of detailing and doing it at my own pace. I am quite enjoying that. But we do need to get stuck in. I do need to deliver you some UK Rail Inspired Network. So we're going to do Bedford today. And we're going to, li we're going to link up the Marston Vale line as well as the Midland Main line. And we're going to bring them together. It is the Midland Main line, right? That is what we're doing here. Yes, it is. Please be right. Comments below if it's not. But I'm assuming it is right. I think it's right. Please be right. Anyway, that's what we're going to do. We've got a little bit of uh, junction work to do. We've got to merge two tracks. We've got a nice little bridge and then a wrap as well because there is a little station on the right. And I believe it's called Bedford St. John's. We're going to bang that in. I might bang that in on an ultimate station because it's got a little bit of curvature on it and that might come in useful for me. I'm going to have to get Google Maps out because there's a lot of disused track or X track or... Is it the old Bedford to Cambridge line is kind of there, but not really existing anymore, I think, looking at that. So that's what we're going to do. But we'll start off with Bedford and make our way backwards. And then I will do, for the rest of this week and the coming weekend, get some detailing done. Get it up early on the old Patreon and the old YouTube memberships. And I'm trying to hold in a burp, I'm not going to lie. Hold on. That's better. Okay, and I'll try and get this all in for you so you can, we can get caught up and we can get some nice cab rides going because if I complete this Marston Vale line into Bedford here, we have a cab ride. We do. If I just get this little bit done, maybe. This little bit done this week. This little bit. Just this little bit here. Anyway, so what I've done is we've got a... Where is this line? It's there. So we've got a curve that, that goes under. So we're probably going to have to leave. Where's Milton Keynes? We've gone too far. That might have to change. No, that'll be all right. We can curve that round that way. That might be all right. What we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to delete my toolbox things first. Let's get these gone. This is before one of my early toolbox videos. And I just did it on this map because I just... I, believe it or not, I think I had the idea while I was doing it. So I thought I'd give it a shot and it actually worked out all right. So I kept it. But we're going to delete this now because I need the space. Sorry, game. We knew we'd come over here at some point. Uh, off you go. Off you go. Why did I delete that bit of road randomly? That was so strange. <laughs> there we go. And I'm going to pause the... I have paused the game because I want to stop these from building everywhere. I still haven't changed that setting. I'm not sure if I can do it. I think I have to do it right at the start of the build. So I think I'm forever plagued by random industries popping up on this map. But it is what it is. So it is kind of... There's Milton Keynes. We're kind of here maybe. About here. Maybe about here. It's kind of... There's Milton Keynes. Yeah, about here. We do it about there. Curves away, then curves back again. We've got to give ourselves a little bit of space. Yeah. We'll put it here and we'll work with it. And we'll make it our own. So, I need to just work this terrain just so it doesn't get in my way. I have raised the terrain a little bit here. We had the river. I've put it on a bit of a plateau because I've got to do a bridge. And I've got to do a railway underneath the railway. I didn't want it too close to water. And I didn't want to generate water. So, I've raised bedford a little bit and we can smooth it off um because i've touched the water now the game's decided to have a meltdown so we'll wait for that to sort itself out or you could do what you just did and crash on me thank you very much game anyway we're back I'm gonna delete that bit of road back um i'm not sure why it crashed it had a it had a mad meltdown i think it's because i had some other programs open in the background and as we all know transport fever 2 loves to hog a bit of ram and i think I allowed it to hog too much. I'm just going to delete these assets a little bit here. 
So I had another look while this was loaded in because it takes a while. I had another look and we're just kind of going to put Bedford around about here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here and I'm going to build it backwards. Hold on, because I need to wrap this. What's that there, Northampton? I need to wrap this. This is to come out, turn that way. Yeah, that'll be fine. We're going to build Bedford about here. I am probably going to use... I think I'm going to use the UK style passenger stations for this. And we're going to go for a 240 length with some modified length. So we're going to start this one like that. 240 high speed catenary. Yes. And we're going to, this is going to be our furthest one. I know it's slightly curved, the station. I want one set of tracks here. Nope, I'll have two because then I can just add to them. And that can go there. And then we're going to, we're going to modify and extend it as we need. And I've put that in the wrong, wrong, total wrong orientation let's try that again where are we there and there so let's go let's go let's go let's go where's that that's there there come in wrap around go in about there let's go there yes that's giving me loads of room and that can bend that way it's not going straight there yeah that's fine that's what we're going to work with gonna go in and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna extend some different areas uh we are gonna go to the king's cross because that's where our platforms are all the way to the end come on scroll but i'm gonna double up this side like that um and then we're gonna extend this one this one and this one then we're gonna go to our tracks tracks high speed uh, we're gonna yeah this one's gonna be that length we'll fill those in while we're there 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 so we are verging on sort of 300 meters even though i said 240 this one will be there there yeah so we're more sort of towards i sort of did a base of 240 and then added probably an extra 60 meters on i think i think that's how long the platforms are 60 or 40 anyway so we might be 280 but it's longer anyway that's simply because I wanted to get the shape in where it's slightly longer. One side. It's just a little bit less perfect on there. And that's pretty much Bedford. Now, the big trick here is going to be... I've got terrible gas today. And I don't mean from the back end. I mean the front end, all right? I've got terrible gas today. So if I... Like, if there's a lot of weird cuts here, it's probably because I'm cutting out when I'm sort of re releasing. So we're going to stay on this side, and we're going to bring this set of tracks out nice and straight. High-speed electrified, like so. We're going to keep this as level as we can. It should be nice and straight anyway, like that. Let's go out a little bit more. Let's give us some space, because we can always delete it back. Oh, you know what? As well, this is wrong. I need to do. Oh no, not that. There's three tracks here. I've been looking at that for the last half hour as well. Because I do, obviously, you know. I know it doesn't always sound it, but I do actually plan ahead. I do have a look. I do do a bit of research and see my track now. And I've completely forgotten that this is three tracks. like that and i think it's because one of them actually is used on the up down slow and i'm not sure where the switch is to bring this in uh the platforms on in this they're in the king's cross aren't they it's this one i'm not actually sure where if at all faster service to stop at bedford where this is because this just comes across and i'm assuming there's a switch a bit later on so what we have here coming out, because I'm going to do all the sidings here as well. We're going to make this quite nice. It's, it's mainly su surrounded by houses. So we have this doing this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this there. This about there. And then we have, what's that? Ah, oh, that's what we have. Okay. So what we have there is a, is that the, is that the, 
Pancras to Chesterfield line terminates on this. Oh, okay. Right. Gotcha. That makes sense now. Right, I need more track. You, again, you'd think I researched this, but I've spotted things that I didn't spot when I was having a look. So we need a slightly shorter station here. I think that's too long. That'll fit maybe 160. Let's have a look. I need at least 160 here, I think. Uh, 160. Is that 160? Yeah, that's fine. And then we can put in King's Cross here, here, here. And then our passenger building goes there. There we go. That's fine. And then what happens here is, as we go back to tracks, bring that there, that. Is that electrified? I'm not even sure if this is electrified. I don't think this part is. Is it? No, it's not. Right, de-electrify that. And delete that. And then track that. And then where are you? You're about there. And then you just do that. You level with that, like so. Nice. Okay, then we come out. Right, this is a bit mazy, so you're gonna have to bear with me. So you come out there, then you gonna you're gonna bend off this way. I would assume some of this is electrified. Yeah, because all yeah, all that will be. It's just that small section there. I'm gonna do that. Because I think that's because the use of all the um rail works here in a siding so that is is that that is yeah it all is yeah let's get this done you out nice and straight about there you're gonna kind of actually we're gonna try and create some of this curve you're gonna kind of do that and then bend down like so where are you there fine out there like that and then another one comes within this bend another one comes out here then you do that and you come around here like so so then you come straight here a little bit more bend along with that one a little bit like that one two three four buildings this one we want you and i need to take a look at this on google maps because you're you're this one okay we're gonna go for have we got the london concrete have we installed the london line on here because that would come in really helpful right about now. Okay, so what I might do is I'm going to put these in. I'm going to put these in now. But I'm probably going to change the track on them at a later date. Because I need to install the local London line. Because it's concrete based. And it will just look like a little bit better. In terms of when I sort of detail around it. Because it will look more solid. So I just want high speed. Why can't I find a high speed track for now? All I want is some high speed rail. High speed tracks. There we go. Um, and I want these to be 240. And I'm going to pop you in there. But before I connect you up, I need to just... Yeah, I need to swing out another one here. It goes along... Actually, do you know what I can do? This. I can... Is that kind of yeah that'll be fine around about there delete that actually around about there and then put in one two three well there's loads here but i'm not going to put in that many we'll go for six and i'm going to change these again like the other ones like that and then we can also just wrap that into there 
Whoa, come on. Like that. Because then I can do this as well, I believe. Oh, we're going to run out of track. Okay. So you're long, so you can come there. There. Can you come, can you just wrap into that? That'd be wicked. There we go. There. And then... Delete you. You break off into... No, you all come out of that one. That is some busy, busy, busy... Switching. That's tight. Probably a little bit too tight for me, but it is what it is. There we go. We're trying to separate these to make them look like two sets of switches a little bit. So you just got like two breaks there. So it looks like two. And then I'm going to bend this away a little bit more. What do I? No, I'm going to. Do they? No, they really do pass that quite close. So we're going to keep that like that. And then there's. Oh, there's another siding. So no, we do need to. We'll do it a bit different. We'll do this. We'll do... We'll do this. Like that. And then that should just... Hopefully... Swing out like that. Where's our... That's fine. That's lovely. That looks all right, doesn't it? That looks pretty good. Right, and then we swing up. There's another, wow. Right, this one swings up. Swings up like this. And then we have another switch here like this. And then just after that, we are going to leave that like this and we're going to do a river. We're going to put the ooze in. Nice and small. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Smaller. Yes, there we go. Water, please. Right, where do you go? You go down. You're there. You go around here and down. Like so. That'll do you. Nice. Because then we can get this in here like this. Come on, game. Come on. Don't fail me now, bridge. You can do it. I want this nice and straight. Or as straight as possible. Come on. Nice. Uh, what kind of bridge are we there? We are a concrete kind of brick kind of bridge. We go with one of these. Maybe one of these with a little bit there. That's fine. It is kind of two separate bridges, but I'm going to pair them. And this is where it becomes unelectrified by the looks of things. So we, we, they are kind of two. They look like they're two separate bridges, but we are going to keep them like that. And then what we have. I don't know how that is unelectrified because that is electrified, but that area, they must get they must get towed in there then. We've got to try and fit in a car park between here and here. So I might do some of the road work. Uh, we'll do building. One, two, three. Yeah, we'll do four. We'll do five. We're going to make these slightly longer, 280. And we should be able to just... That's the bend there. There's a couple of... So I've got to leave a little bit of space for a little bit of road crossing. We put that about there. And then we kind of out of that bridge. They come out like that. Yeah, that's fine. It's a little bit closer to the bridge, actually. Let's make this a little bit closer. About there. But less of an angle. Less of an angle. About there should be enough space for me to mess about with this maybe out there out there right and then that goes into there 
we're gonna take liberties a little bit here with the track there we go yeah that's right and then you two pair off into each one Ooh. i did five didn't i so we'll do that that's fine and then what i do is i'll probably park some assets up on these or something as well when we you know when we get going okay and then that does kind of do that and then i want to put a car park in along this because uh we'll put that in now um parking it's kind of i want player ownership yes all along this a little bit of parking there ends about there and then there's kind of you've kind of got a road that goes alongside this as well but if we do we put that in now because it's kind of it's kind of swirly let's do let's do a nice let's do this because this will fit in nicer Can we do kind of bends around it's closer than that it's closer closer kind of wraps see it's kind of i need to back this out a little bit to do that kind of here I do this then go around this it's quite tight Wait. And then yeah, and then it's straight, and then we have kind of a bridge. So if we do this nice and straight here, we can do then we could I can do the detailing around this, and it's just getting like the basics in. And if I get the basics in, I get the basics right. We are kind of a little bit better off at a later date. Parking, if I can just grab you again and just I want to kind of give this a mold. Yeah, mold that in a little bit there. And then what we will do this road does carry on and cross a lot of this but i don't think i'm going to get be able to get that in but we have got sort of crossing here like i mean we could do i mean will that allow me to do that it will oh my days it will and if we just do posts only why has that gone different color though Oh, there we go. Oh, I can't believe that's let me do that. That's great. It does come across this as well, but we won't be able to do that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go along the side of this. Because it won't let me cross um, the station. But we can do that. That's. I can't believe that's let me do that. I'm well happy with that. That's nice. Thank you, game. There are some smaller sidings here, but we're not going to fit them in. So forget it. And that comes round. Now, there is a sort of here. There's like a, a an old. There's a, a, a track that obviously goes nowhere now. That obviously used to many years ago. I'm assuming that's why all this is being covered up now. It's been built over. There's the old. There's old track everywhere. Obviously, we can't put that in. So we're not going to. This this angle's too much. Yeah, it's definitely too much. This angle's definitely too much. We need to back you out. About there. We need to get rid of this. And you need to just go and about there. There is a bit of a bend there anyway. That's fine. And then you need to where are we going yes that's fine lovely cross the ooze just nice and straight what kind of bridge are you and you, you, the tracks come together actually if we do if we do the high speed up down here first i believe that's high speed up down anyway and we'll just make that a nice concrete bridge first and then i can join you in accordingly after you go there you go there 
and then you come out nice and straight we just do that nice and straight then i can bang a couple of bits of track together here and then we should be able to Whee! and do the same bridge please lovely bring them back together i've put the wrong one no i haven't I put the right one in yes look at that nice i'm not sure about that that's a bit ugly might fix that a little bit maybe we back that off and create our own curve through there i'm not sure yeah that i don't like this bend here mm, it's not too bad mm, i don't know right and then before the bridge we have that there that there i'm not going to get that other set of sidings in am i was that after no it's after oh there's like a so i'm not going to get all that housing in definitely not but what we can where's there yeah we're not going to get all the housing in but we might get in will we get that in maybe i'll think about that i'll see what we do for space because i do need to get in the next set of sort of the the bridge and the master valve line and i also need to put in the other station let's see how we go with this other station let's go back up here so we go around here so we cross a little bit and we need to go unelectrified come out and then we on here then oh it's just a single <laughs> okay so we bend away gonna back you up a little bit out there got a little a tiddly little station here st john's what's it called bedford st john's anybody knows should we do an oldie on this or yeah let's do an oldie it looks really small is it literally just serving it does that and I, i've put that on the wrong one. Oh, wanted this i oh, know it doesn't matter because that comes i'm gonna do that yeah that's fine because the tracks kind of split off that's why i've made this nice and straight and then it's going to come back in around about there and do that I don't know what it's sort of anything it's single 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 comes around trees and then ah oh, doubles up when it goes down okay and then we just literally we start heading straight down straight down curve and go under that one yeah And you become two again. I'm going to have to start lowering you. I'm assuming that's what happens anyway. You probably slowly get uh, smaller and smaller. Actually, what we'll do is we'll come do this. a little bit more look at where you are you're there and we'll eye this up and then we'll put in our non-electrified one two three one two four five please yes we haven't that's why i put it on a pillar Actually, we, you know what? We'll, we'll put this here. And then we'll make the rest up as we go along. We put that in. I'm going to delete this back a little bit. 
then we're gonna go down like that lovely fantastic then that should go make its way all the way drop that a little bit over there and re-electrify and that's going to be a problem so we're going to bring back that off what kind of bridge is this oh there's also a road next to it going under so we'll do that as well so what do i need here i need to level this out and put the road in what is it it's like a sort of one of these Oh, there's some buildings between it. Oh. That bit of road in for later. And we will do... I think there's still one of them. Six, still sort of old concrete -y bridges, to be honest. There we go. Cross. Cross. And cross. Are you going to be a nightmare? You are, aren't you? Why? So, so we can put our own posts in if it will let us. We do it this way around. Yeah, there we go. So we can put our own bits of um, supports in and things later on. So that's fine. Nice. And then that heads off down to St. Albans. And this one, I don't think there's any other stations between here and wherever we put the last one. Oh, we've got Kempston Hardwick. Did we put that in? What's the last station we put in? Oh, we called it. We haven't even named it. Bo oh, Bowbrick Hill Westbound, Bowbrick Hill Eastbound. I guess that is there. No, that's just a turn back I've used for that. So we have got, we could put one more station in here as well. <clears throat> I'm glad I started bending that off because that really has to bend. But maybe we won't, maybe we won't put another one in. We'll just delete that. We'll get rid of the assets in between here. Delete that, that. And terrain. Oh, that could have stayed right around about that height, really. To be honest, let's have a look. See what we could have got out of that. Yeah. Could have. We can keep that down like that. Then we can build around it. We'll have a nice little bit of raised uh, terrain. Then we can go around here. No catenary. Crap. Oh, lovely. Really good. Is this uh, two-way all the way now? So let me scroll through Google Maps. Yeah, it is. Pretty much. I'll delete this bit of road. Sorry, game. Um, I'm going to do that. And I'll come back to you later, turn back and sort out these trains. I'll probably do it after I've detailed it, to be fair. We're just going to wrap that back up. That's nice. Now, I'll come back. So there'll be bridges... Uh, there'll be bridges there'll be some rivers there'll be bridges streams it's a bit of a country sort of route but there will be things like that there we need to come back i need to come back and signal all this as well do i i want to take a look at this off camera because i'm not sure how the switching goes as we come out of uh bedford because i want to know oh that's what i need to do actually is coming into sorry where is it it's there yeah, on this bend. Yes. Here. Do we have this? Like that. We have that in there. Going into there. But I want to know, does this... This one goes here. Does this get used or not get used? Or is this because this is the switch back this way? And the switches are the other side? Because it is... I mean is it i'm not sure because if it goes from there to there and then there's is there a switch over on there 
See, there isn't even a switch down. There's no switching. So I, I, I need to go away and look at this. So I'm not going to sort of connect this track up so much anymore. I'm going to kind of leave it as is. But this anyway is um, not Milton Keynes West. It's Bedford. I'm going to just copy that because I'm lazy. Because over here we have Bedford St. John's as well. A lot of Bedford and a lot of it seems to be surrounded by... Why does that have to do that? Just accept the fact that I don't care if it's one way or not. Um, a lot of this around here that you see... Obviously, you've got a little bit of industrial around sort of the sidings. Um, there is another set of sidings sort of here. I'm not going to get that in, I don't think. Um, a lot of it is uh, residential. So I might make use of the, um, the zoning mod and drop a load of residential here because it'll also lead these trains to feed the west coast main line as well and get more people changing in and around about Bletchley and Milton Keynes which would be quite cool I think but we'll decide I'll decide that when I'm detailed anyway um I've got to work out these switches off camera like I said I think that's about it I think I've pretty much smashed this out in a record time and I'm pretty impressed with it to be honest um, I'll name all the sidings. I'll get the details for the names of the sidings. And we'll decide if I can make use of some of these and get some of these active a bit like I have done over at Bletchley. If I can make use of some of these and make use of some of the sidings, I will do if I can get the trains on them. I think some of them are um, Thames Link, so we might be able to do a little bit of that. That would be quite cool. Just as you, if you're coming in on one train and you've got another train parked through the sidings, it looks quite nice, doesn't it? It looks a bit more interesting. Anyway, I think that is that. I'm going to let you go. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for all the support. Thank you for the support on Patreon. Thank you very much for the support on YouTube, of course. I will be back live streaming on Twitch very soon. You've probably noticed I have a homepage up, dguk.tv. That's got a little bit about myself and, uh, and some details of all the links of my Patreon, Spotify, YouTube, obviously, and Twitch. All the links are on there. So if you want to follow me on those, check them out. I really do appreciate it. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you're on Patreon and you've watched this early, I appreciate you massively. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next one.